The United States and South Korea have vowed to step up joint military drills in the face of growing threats from North Korea. The two countries are set to hold nuclear tabletop exercises next month, simulating scenarios of an attack from Pyongyang. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin is in Seoul to demonstrate America's commitment to defending its ally. He met with South Korean Defense Minister Lee Jong-sup. The two sides agreed to expand military exercises, resuming live-fire demonstrations. Now, the aim is to strengthen their response if North Korea fires nuclear weapons. Pyongyang has boasted about its increasingly potent missile and nuclear arsenals in recent months. Leader Kim Jong-un earlier declared his country an irreversible nuclear state. The isolated nation has conducted an unprecedented number of weapons tests over the last year, launching ICBMs capable of targeting the United States. The United States and the ROK are committed to the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, and we've long been that way. Uh, the U.S. commitment uh, to the defense of Korea is ironclad. You heard, heard us say that a number of times, but that's just not a slogan. It is what, what we're all about. That commitment is ironclad. And our extended deterrence is at the heart of that commitment. Mr. Austin promised that the U.S. would deploy advanced American fighter jets and aircraft carriers to the peninsula more frequently to strengthen joint training. He held talks with President Yoon suk yeol on regional security issues and trilateral cooperation with Japan. The U.S. defense chief's next stop on his Asian tour is the Philippines.